um, is the secret marriage allowed in Islam without the holy and without the witnesses? Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. There is no, there is no concept of a secret marriage in Islam because uh, on the girl side, the the marriage without the wali, the guardian of the girl, it's invalid because one of the hadiths, uh, the Prophet sallallahu said, the marriage of a girl without while well, without wali or the guardian uh, is invalid. He said three times. Uh, he the the marriage is uh, invalid 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 so basically if the girl marry without the wali without any proper guardian not somebody who just like made up but the guardian has to be legal he has to be a real guardian and it, it could be a, a elder brother or it could be an uncle it could be a father it could be anyone but if the father is alive the first priority is uh, her father and then if the father is not alive and that's uncle if the uncle is not alive it could be an elder brother if his um, brother is not uh, if, he, if she does not have a brother then it could be a something uh, Islamic community leader who has to take the, the guardianship of the girl and uh, he has to handle uh, her matter and without a proper Sharia way that marriage is considered as an adultery and that woman is an adulterer because the wali has to be there and uh, the permission is not uh, permissible that he has to permit that but rather he can interview the 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 brother and uh, how the things go move on and then on the brother side there should be a witness that they are legally married uh, according to the sharia but there is no concept of uh, a secret marriage because basically secret marriage is an adultery it's it's a zina it's a fahish it's, it's a zina because uh, there is no concept of a uh, of a secret marriage okay i get married you okay this is my ring and uh, i married you by the will of allah and i uh, married you making allah witness it doesn't exist things like that there's a proper way to do that the wali has to be there the witness has to be there and those wali and that uh, witnesses has to be a legal witnesses it's not somebody who just walk down the street and you ask someone okay I'm getting married can you be my witness or ask someone okay can you be my wali it doesn't exist that it has to be your father or your uncle your brother or any father relative if not then it has to be like a uh, community Islamic leader who has to uh, do that on the the girl side and on the boy side it has to be a uh, man witness or the woman witness uh, and has to be set up a proper way and this should be um, the person uh, imam or someone who has a knowledge who can uh, recite the nikah and uh, talk about the marriage and this is how the ceremony is done and it has to be uh, properly written on the day of marriage and who are the witnesses and who are everything but it's not something like you just go and you sign the paper by you and the girls this is an adultery because there's no difference between this type of marriage muta or the prostitution or then adultery this is called an adultery this is not an Islamic marriage and those who go to the civil court to get married their marriage is invalid because that's not the Sharia law that's the law of some like a civil court but if it is an Islamic country but still you have to follow the proper sharia way like in witnesses and the wali and the proper imam who's going to pronounce the husband or the wife and who's going to recite the, the nikah khutbah